Hey guys, welcome back to my channel, and uh, today I have something out of the ordinary for my channel, and that's, uh, it's not a candle review, it's not a candle preview, um, it's more along the lines of something that's very near and dear uh, to my heart, and that is the tradition of burning uh, Bayberry tapers um, on Christmas Eve, as well as uh, New Year's Eve, and uh, the, we're not talking about the Bayberry, uh, holiday Bayberry from Yankee Candle. That, that's a, a wonderful, gorgeous scent. I mean, that is, that's almost like Christmas in a jar. Th this scent is, uh, it's top notch, um, burns great, strong is, throw is strong. I mean, this is a 2013 pour. I have a 2015 pour and a 2017. I mean, they are intense, very intense. Christmas in a jar. Uh, you know, love it. But uh, I'm talking about I'm talking about the tapers, and that's uh, that's easy. That's the old school, you know, dining room, you know, table candles that you would put like in the middle of a, a table there. So uh, these are very near and dear to my heart um, for you know, one reason only, and that's because uh, my grandmother, as I was growing up, my grandmother would always burn uh, these candles on Christmas Eve, and I. I never knew why. I mean, I knew why. She told me, she's like, well, if you burn it uh, Christmas Eve, you're supposed to get a lot of money, right, in the new year. Um, and it wasn't until she passed away last year that I did a little bit more research and wanted to continue uh, this tradition myself. So I did a little bit, like I said, I did a little bit of research um, on the uh, beginnings of this uh, tradition as well as how you're actually supposed to to do it. Um so, uh, let's see here. So I have, let's see, this is uh, from her house, like an old school uh, tapers. These are 12 inch tapers there. And as you can see, I'm not sure if you can see it. Let me focus in on that. They're from the Candlelight Incorporated uh, Division of Lancaster Colony Corporation from Leesburg, Ohio, Maine, USA. There's the stock number. These are probably from the, late 60s early 70s judging by the by the graphic design on it there um and so here here's the ah, let's focus in on that here is where uh this whole saying this whole tradition comes from not comes from but this is what you're going to hear most of the time bayberry candles burn to the socket brings luck to your house and good and gold to the pocket uh, that is what you're going to hear most of the time people saying. So these are 12 inches. And this actually came with a little, little booklet here. It says, Holiday Greetings and Good Luck. Oh, let me focus on that. Sorry about that. Holiday Greetings and Good Luck. And it actually opens up here. And it gives you a little bit of the history. So it says, The bayberry plant grows in New England coastal area. It is rarely found far inland and seems to thrive close to the sea in the rocky soil. And here's kind of where the uh, beginnings of this tradition uh, have come into play. Early American settlers harvested and rendered the wax from the fruit of the plant in the late fall. The resulting supply of wax was never great, so the candles were reserved um, for burning during the Yuletide. Legend has it that burning of these candles during that happy season would bring wealth and good luck throughout the new year. May this legend come true for you. May you have a Merry Christmas. And may wealth and good luck make yours a truly happy new year. And then on the back it still has this thing. Bayberry candles burn to the socket. Bring luck to the house and gold to the pocket. So uh, that came from there. Now you probably won't see uh, this brand around much. But what you will most likely see is... Um, the Mole Hollow uh, candles, Mole Hollow right there. These are where you see like all the hallmarks and everything, and and uh, they also have the saying, a little bit of history uh, as an insert. I did lose the insert on this, but this uh, this is actually uh, a Mole Hollow candle there, um, and Yankee Yankee has some too. Uh, we we stock up on these in our house. Um, Yankees actually burn pretty good for us. Um, yeah, no, no big deal there. Uh, but yeah, they have a little, little thing on the back there. You know, Bayberry wax is a wax, wax-like fat. 
derived from the fruit coat of the bayberry. The berries are boiled until the fruit coat melts and floats to the surface. It is skimmed. Oh, let's see if we can focus in on that. Uh, it is skimmed off and purified by remelting and refil and filtering, and then it has the whole legend thing on it. Tradition holds that when one receives a bayberry candle as a gift from a friend, then burns the candle on Christmas Eve and, or New Year's Eve, one will receive one will receive good luck, good health, and much wealth. So uh, as you can you know, like I said, these are very near and dear to my heart um, for the Christmas season. We uh, we burn them. Uh, every Christmas Eve and New Year's Eve, um, I'm not going to tell you how we burn them because I don't want to. I don't want to give any ideas, you know, because you're not supposed to burn candles unsupervised. Don't do it. Bad idea, guys. Bad idea. Uh, I am not saying to burn it all night long. I am just saying there's a tradition. Here's what it is: burn to the socket. However, it burns to the socket is uh, your decision. But do not leave candles unattended. Very bad idea. Bad, bad, bad idea. So, uh, that's what I have for you on uh, on the Bayberry. I just wanted to let you guys know about it uh, in time for the Christmas holiday coming up, as well as the New Year holiday. Uh, go out there and get yourself a set. See, it uh, doesn't hurt to try it, right? You know, who knows? You might might get some good wealth and, and good health uh, in the New Year, you know? Um, we all want to be healthy. You know, we all want to have a little bit of wealth there, and... Uh, you know, not to be, uh, not not too spoiled, just a, a little bit, to, to live comfortably. That's all we want, right? We just want to live comfortably. So, uh, there, uh, that's what I have for you. So let me know, um, does your family, um, have this tradition where you, did you grow up with it, uh, like I did? Um, is it something that you didn't grow up with, but you might want to start or, uh, carry on tradition-wise? So, all right, well, just let me know. Comment below, like, subscribe. Let me know what you think. So, all right, guys, this, um, I don't know if this will be my last video before before Christmas. Uh, it might be. I might have one more. So if it is my last video, I'm going to wish you a very happy holidays. Uh, Merry Christmas to those who celebrate. And uh, I will be back after Christmas for sure with um, most likely a haul video from uh, Bath & Body Works, semi-annual sale potentially a Yankee Candle haul. Um, I have seen some of the new returning favorites coming back just for the semi-annual sale. Uh, Tulips is one of them. Uh, let's see, what else is there? Spring Days is coming back. So, uh, nothing too crazy as far as returning favorites. Same old, same old. So, I don't know if I'm going to be partaking in that aspect of the semi-annual sale, but I'll see what they have left over from Halloween and from from the holiday uh christmas season so all right guys well thanks for watching and once again happy holidays merry christmas enjoy